Forgiveness is a gift. May 5th, 2024. This is spring lesson number 10 for Miss Kathy's class, MOG, and I'm so glad to see you. Today, we are going to have you lead the prayer. You can stop the video and then come back to finish the lesson. Today's activity, we're going to get a piece of paper and we're going to have a forgiveness ceremony. We do this in prison ministry. And let me tell you, I've done it in classes before. And it is a really cool thing to do because it's great practice. So what you do is you write a list on a piece of note paper of people that you need to forgive. Because, you know, you need to forgive so that you can be forgiven. Because that's what the Bible says. God says, if you cannot forgive, then you cannot be forgiven. So write your forgiveness list. You do not have to show it to anyone. You do not have to read it to anyone. In fact, it's better if you don't read it to anyone. Because you'll be more likely to put down the people that you need to write down on it. Okay? So after you write the list, let's get together with some friends and we'll pray over the list. Fold it up real tight, fold it, fold it, fold it till it's tiny, tiny, tiny. Or there's another thing that you can do. You can take the list after you're done with it and after you've prayed over it and tear it into tiny, tiny pieces. And then I've... We've had people in the prison either burn them, burn all the pieces, or we've had a uh, dissolvable paper where it's just stirred and turned into just water. Or we've even had, I had a young lady to flush it. You can flush it. You can throw the pieces in the trash can and they're so small, no one else can read it, but they're the idea is to make sure that they are gone. If you prayed, made the list, prayed over it, make sure that they are gone. How's that sound? When you're finished, come back to the video. You may have heard that forgiveness is a gift available and free to everyone. But did you know that Jesus paid for it on the cross? When Jesus died on the cross, he died to pay the punishment for our sins and to make us right with God. That's an incredible gift because we have been given such a wonderful gift. We should be able, we should be willing to forgive others for any wrong that they may have done to us. Forgiveness is a wonderful gift to receive, but it is also a wonderful gift to give. And some of you may be saying, oh, I can't forgive this person. This person did a really, really horrible thing. Mm, remember what I said about practicing? It does not matter. And it doesn't mean that you have to be best buds with that person. So it might mean that you'll be able to just see them in public someplace and wave and say, or just be cordial and say, Good morning, hello, and go on about your business. Doesn't mean that you have to be chummy chummy. Now, I want you guys to remember to subscribe to this channel before you go any further. You can go to tinyearl.com slash Miss Kathy's class. And we are having some problems today. I mean, every week there's a problem with, we may have a, a little problem posting today so this lesson will probably get to you a little bit later once again so now today's lesson the lesson scripture is from romans the third chapter and they should have an s at the end of romans romans the third chapter verses 21 through 29 and our key verse today reads there is no difference between jew and gentile for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Jesus 
by Christ Jesus. Now you know what Jews and Gentiles, and we talked about Gentiles in the last two lessons. Gentiles are non-Jewish people. And that key verse comes from Romans, the third chapter, verse 22b, all the way through 24. Oh, hi, Emoji. He's come to tell us that the book of Romans is in the New Testament. And we know it's one of the letters to the church at Rome from Paul. A letter was another word for a letter. That's right, his epistle, the epistles of Paul. Here are some words to know. Atonement. When you do something to make up for something you did wrong. I felt bad for accidentally breaking my neighbor's window, so I apologized for the repairs. Oh, I apologized and paid for the repairs as atonement. Forbearance. That's patience. You remember seeing that in some versions of the fruit of the spirit. Patience. So if you have forbearance, you're going to be patient. The teacher showed forbearance when facing the rowdy children. Grace, a favor from God given freely to humans. God's mercy. We don't ask for it. We don't deserve it. He gives it to us anyway. Even though we humans are always committing sins, God always gives us his grace. Redemption. That means salvation from sin through Jesus' sacrifice. You gain redemption once you've been saved. You've become saved. And that means that you have declared as you've talked about in your Sunday school class, and we've talked about here, you have declared Romans 10, 9, 10. That's all it takes. You have to really believe, and you have to say so. Righteousness, free from guilt or sin. Because humans are sinful by nature, none of us can claim that we have righteousness. Sacrifice, giving up something important, for the sake of something else. You shouldn't sacrifice your health for your job. And now it's time for, from the source from our NIV study Bibles. Remember, we're going to be reading Romans, the third chapter, verses 21 through 29. We don't have the reader today, so I'm going to read it for you. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known, to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance, he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He did it to demonstrate his righteousness at the present time so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith in Jesus. Where then is boasting? It is excluded because of what law? The law that requires works. No, because of the law that requires faith. For we maintain that a person is justified by faith apart from the works of the law, or is God the God of Jews only. Is he not the God of Gentiles too? Yes, of Gentiles too. Our key verse, once again, is there is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and all are justified freely 
by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. So that means, is there any person on earth, in your household, in your school, in the world, any place who is absolutely perfect and sinless? Is there anyone? Okay. Our story today from our lesson book is called Forgiveness is a Gift. God has shown us a different way to be right with him. It is not by obeying the law. It is only by the way promised in God's word for long ago. Long ago, he said this. The way is to have trust in Jesus Christ who paid for our sins or our wrong choices on the cross. He did this. That is how God makes us right. Now, everyone has sinned or disobeyed God and fallen short of God's standards. God's grace, a gift of undeserved favor and kindness forgives us and states that we are not guilty. God sent Jesus as a sacrifice to take away our punishment for sin. Jesus shed his blood on the cross to save us and set us free. We are made right through faith when we trust and believe that Jesus' sacrifice paid for our sins. God's ways are always fair. Should we brag about ourselves? No, our faith keeps us from bragging. We have not done anything to be accepted by God. We are made right with God through faith, not by following the law. God is the God for everyone who believes. So, you know, you see people marching in the street and and, uh, some Christians out there who are saying that they are better than other people or better than other Christians. We're not supposed to brag about who we are like that. You know, and usually that includes putting somebody else down. And is that Christian like, God like? I don't think so. Questions How are we made right with God? We were made right with God through our faith in Jesus Christ. How are we all alike? We have all sinned and do not deserve God's grace. How does it feel to both receive and give the gift of forgiveness? Now, that is this question for you to discuss among yourselves because you have to say how you feel. There's no right or wrong answer to that question, in other words. Now, it's time for the contemporary story and Ruby's Lab. A true gift. The contemporary story for May 5th, 2024. Derek and his older brother, Javon, just made the deal of the century. Their parents promised to take them to Splash Zone if they maintained good grades and kept their rooms clean. This was going to be a piece of cake for Derek. All A's and B's on my progress report. I can't wait for mom and dad to see it. Derek couldn't wait to show his parents that he kept his promise. But he noticed that Javon was quiet. 
What's wrong? I got a D in history class. I tried really hard. I'm sorry, D. Derek was sad they wouldn't get to go to Splash Zone, but he was also sad because of how upset Javon was. Mom, Dad, I have to tell you something. Their parents made a study plan with Javon to improve his grades before the end of the grading period. Looks like we're going to Splash Zone this weekend. The brothers were surprised that their parents still wanted to give them such a wonderful gift. Questions Number 1 Why was Javon upset? We're having too much fun at the Splash Zone to answer questions. Well, excuse me. He got a D in his history class and thought he had lost his chance to go to Splash Zone with his brother. What did his mother surprise him with? She gave Javon another chance to improve his grade and they would still go to Splash Zone. What a gift! Can you imagine how the brothers' disappointment quickly turned to happiness and excitement? Maybe their parents decided to take them on the trip anyway because they realized that Javon had tried to do his best. They had a forgiving nature. We should all try to have such a forgiving nature too. Here's a good idea for a discussion. How is forgiveness a gift? What can we do to receive the gift of forgiveness? What did Jesus do to pay for our sins? Now, if you're not in a class, you can always send your answers and questions to me at Miss Kathy's class at mail.com. Exploring the story in Ruby's Lab. Hello, everyone. This is Ruby. This lesson is a real good news, bad news lesson. The bad news is that we have all sinned. But the good news is that we have hope through our faith in Jesus Christ. How can Jesus give us hope? It's because he was God's sacrifice and he shed his blood on the cross to pay for our sins. What can we do about this? We only have to believe and have faith in Jesus Christ. Simple, huh? All we have to do is turn from our sins and turn to Him. What a wonderful gift! You want to discuss it with me? You can discuss it with me or ask me questions anytime you want by mailing me a letter or a card to P.O. Box 74514 back in Louisiana, 70874, or by my favorite means of communication, my email address at rubyredpanda at mail.com. You know how to sing it with me. Come on. And a one, and a two, and a ruby red panda. I said a ruby red panda. Ruby red panda at mail.com. Okay, our first activity for today from our book is sentence matching. Now you can go to your book and match the words, match the um go oh, match the sentences in column A to those in column B because they complete each other. So what it says is to complete the sentences from today's lesson, match the first part 
of the sentence in column A to the second part in column B by drawing a line between the two. So you can stop the video here, go and do that, and come back. If you don't have a book, you can just write one, two, three, four, five, and then put the alphabet of the correct answer next to it. Okay, stop. I'll be right back here when you get back. All right, so column A says, one, God sent Jesus as a sacrifice, and it goes to D, to take away our punishment for sin. Number two, God is the God, goes to E, for everyone who believes. Number three, God makes people right with himself, goes to A, through their faith in Jesus Christ. Number four, we are made right with God through our be not through following the law and number five everyone has sin and that goes to see and falling short of god's standards okay so we're gonna unscramble these words and fill in fill them in the, to the little squares and then the ones with numbers on them are going to go in the blanks down at the bottom of the page so here's what we'll do. You can stop again and fill out what you think they are and come back and see what the answers are. How about that? And this puzzle is on page 42. And now to put all the letters where they belong, the answer is, we are all forgiven. Lesson review. There is no difference between Jew and Gentile, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. That is from Romans, the third chapter, verse 22b, the second part of 22, through verse 24. Number one says, Jews and Gentiles are equally guilty of sin before God. Not one can claim to be better or less sinful than the other. Um, the righteousness of God in verse 3, no, yeah, chapter 3, verse 3. 21 is Paul's wordplay on both God's being fully in line with all standards of rightness and on God's ability to erase, erase God's ability to erase a person's record of sin, to count a person right with God, which God does through Jesus's faithfulness, just Jesus's faithfulness in making a sacrifice of himself on the cross. So, boys and girls, what you doing? Have you been getting ready for summertime? Are you so happy that all the spring testing is over with? Oh, I know I am. So, here's what I want you to do now. I want you to remember that you can always write to me and tell me what you're doing. And uh, while you're getting ready for the end of the school year, don't forget to send me those letters and pictures, okay? The P.O. Box 74514. Baton Rouge, Louisiana, or you can email me at Miss Kathy's class at mail.com. Miss Kathy's class at mail.com. All right, so MOG and I are going to see you next week, Lord willing, because we love you. God loves you too, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Bye bye now.